Hello, this is Sean D. Nelson, founder and CEO of LoveSack. I am here with Design Milk for DMTV Milkshake. Here we go. Question number one. What will be your focus for the next 25 years? Well, funny you should ask because I just published my first book, Let Me Save You 25 Years, a few days ago. Check it out, it's fantastic. Talks all about how we got to where we are, all the cool things we're doing at LoveSack and mistakes, miracles, and lessons from the LoveSack story. For the next 25, our stated purpose at LoveSack is to inspire humankind to buy better stuff so they can buy less stuff. And that's how I intend to spend uh, the balance of my life if it takes it. We intend to make the better stuff so that people can buy the better stuff because it's hard to find really, really good stuff anymore. Um, built to last a lifetime and designed to evolve. We call it designed for life here at LoveSack. That's my next 25. A lot more products to come. All right, question number two. What books proved to be meaningful in your own experience as an entrepreneur? All right, a uh, few off the top of my head. Jim Collins, Good to Great. Uh, Patrick Lencioni, The Advantage, definitely the biography of Steve Jobs, uh, the biography of uh, Walt Disney, um, Emotional Intelligence, Dan Goleman, you've got Insight, uh, which is a fantastic book about self-awareness, Conscious Capitalism, John Mackey, definitely some of my favorites, useful to me for sure as an entrepreneur. Question three. What lesson here was the hardest to learn? Yeah, so speaking of my book, Let Me Save You 25 Years, um, the final Seanism, it's, it's 25 little less, it's 25 stories adding up to the whole love sex story over 25 years, paired with 25 little lessons that I learned, you know, the hard way along the way. And uh, the final lesson, uh, pair top ambition with infinite patience, it was a hard lesson to learn. You know, as someone who is ambitious, uh, being patient or sometimes telling people to be patient feels really unambitious. And, and um, being forced to uh, take it slow, being forced to spend 25 years, it probably didn't need to take me that long, but I've made so many mistakes. And so through that, I've learned great patience. And in fact, it's become a superpower. You know, when you, once you realize Hey, take the time pressure off a little bit. Don't don't take your foot off the gas, but take the pressure off that this you know this has to be. By this age, I have to be so wealthy, or by this age, or by this year, we have to accomplish so much. When you just say, "Look, here's what we're trying to do: inspire humankind to buy better, to buy less," and we'll take as long as it takes to get there. Uh, it really changes your point of view, allows you to relax, allows you to make the right decisions, design wise. Uh, business-wise, and uh, so pair top ambition with infinite patience. All right, let's do one more. What are you most looking forward to creatively speaking in 2024? I can't tell you. LoveSack is working on some really uh, clandestine projects right now. Um, if you're familiar with LoveSack, we make these really cool couches that you could have the rest of your life because they are designed for life. Um, and we are cooking up some really cool designed for life projects in other realms, other rooms of the house, uh, other really big things and really innovative things, you know, where tech overlaps with home in ways that no one else I don't think is doing. And, uh, so more to come, but, uh, excited about those designs. There's nothing I love more than designing product. And especially now that we've found our design philosophy, you know, making things that are built to last a lifetime designed to evolve. It's very rare in the design space and we're really proud of that. Have a wonderful 2024 and uh, check out Love Sack. Check out the podcast with the book. Let me save you 25 years. It just might shave a minute or two off your own 25 year saga if you're building one yourself. Learn from my mistakes, it might cost less.